Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Musical Pants and today I will show you how to edit audio of all of your singers and mix them together. Let's start. So first I'm gonna start with adding markers to these audios and videos so I can align all of them. You will notice that my videos actually have these spikes in the audio. And those are our claps. I ask all my singers to clap before they start singing. Um, you can also watch my previous video to um, see what I do. I'm gonna add a marker here, um, and then I'm gonna add a marker on the second clap here. I did this on purpose, I clapped twice just so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna add another marker on the third video right here. And now, very easy. I'm just going to make this aligned with the top track because that's kind of like my home track. Um, it's on the main timeline, so that's how it works. You will notice that when I align, I the yellow line appears and it's very easy to align. Remember from the previous video, we need to have snapping turned on in order for this to happen. It's in your view, go to snapping. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make this video a little bit shorter just so I can work on it a little bit easier and here we go you can see now here I'm gonna show you in the videos how I align them and you will see the picture as well so I'm just gonna press shift and T for transform so I can move the videos around and I move the other one as well and now I just go to the beginning and look at this. Beautiful, perfect. And you will also see that this video um, started a little bit later, which is perfectly fine because I'm gonna cut this later anyways in my video editing. You will notice I don't really do anything with video until the very, very end. So that's a pretty tedious process. So I just kind of leave it, I focus on one thing and then I continue. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on and start editing my first video right here. So I'm gonna make everything that I don't need invisible. Um, I usually edit one by one video. So I'm gonna press Command and select and press V. And now I start, the first thing I usually do you don't necessarily need to do this step, but uh, I created a role which is singing. This is especially useful if you have more things just than just a couple videos. You have maybe some special effects, you have titles and so on. So then that's useful. If you're not sure how to do this, just watch my previous video on how to uh, audio edit just some basics. Then the next thing I do, I fix audio and I, I analyze it. So I click right here and Final Cut Pro actually does a pretty good job doing this. And it does a couple of things. I'm going to guide you through it. First, um, you can um, add loudness. And this one actually I never do because what you will notice right away is that it the volume is way higher. Now this would actually sound really, really bad and there would be just too much um, going on. So that would not sound good. So I rarely, rarely ever um, fix loudness. Um, now the next thing it changed for me was noise removal and amount here is 50% noise removal is any kind of like background noises that I can reduce. I usually put that this down a little bit um, less to like 30%. 50 sometimes can sound a little bit too processed. So um, that's it. And then the hum removal actually removes buzz sounds from the devices and so on that you can sometimes hear. And you can just click on it and then it, it will automatically um, fix it for you. So that's really nice. It's actually pretty powerful. And you can actually, when you play it, you can actually hear the difference. I'm just gonna show you very quickly this loudness. So when I turn it on, you will notice that what happens with my audio is this. I, you can also see on the side here, 
when you have the volume it's actually almost a little bit it almost gets to yellow so that's it's just too close to zero so that's definitely not okay the way you can turn this on on the side you can just go to um, a window and then show in workspace and you will see audio meters so you can always look at audio meters you can always just hide them as well so that is fixing the audio the next thing i usually do is i look at audio configuration and my phone recorded this for me in stereo but some of your singers might not have this stereo they usually will have mono so what i do if i have mono recording I click on it and then you have here, you have a couple different things up here and I usually set it up to center. That just to me sounds usually the nicest. The next thing then I do is I start adding effects to this. Uh, there's I talked about effects in my previous video about audio editing, so you can check the basics there. The effects that I usually add are the following always for all my singers i add the channel eq if you cannot see these effects here remember click on this double window here and you will find it and this one is an eq if you're not sure where it is you can always just go search channel eq so i drag and drop and the next thing i do is i this channel eq i change it not to default I don't want that, but I go to voice and I change it to choir EQ. And that just gives a little bit more of fullness, a little bit nicer sound to it that I like. The next thing I also do is I add some echo and you can do that by going to spaces. You have cathedral, large room, medium room, modest cathedral, spaceship, etc. Like tons of different things. I usually add medium room. Um, just because I think large room can be a little bit much um, and it just really depends on the piece as well. Some pieces might just, you might not want to add anything, but I, I think it just adds a little bit of a enough um, reverb so it sounds a little bit nicer. Now, as I'm doing this, all these effects appear on the side here. You will see the medium room amount right now is 50. In my previous virtual choir that I did, I set it down to 30. So I would just leave it there. You can drag this around, double click on the number and set it up. Or you can also go to your track, right click on it, and then you can say show audio animation. And it's going to appear down here. So this little drop button, um, you can adjust it here as well, whichever you want to. Um, to close this, you can just go, um, click X and this is really the effect that I add I talked a little bit more last time about um, compression and some other effects so if you want to you can go check that in my previous video the last thing that I think is very useful for your video editing and I have used that sometimes is adding keyframe to my audio the reason for that is that sometimes you have your singer's cough or sneeze or the dog barks in the background and now this recording would be just, you know, ruined for everybody. So what you can do, let me say that I want to get rid of this part here. Let's say this was my dog barking. So I can just move my cursor, go up here to the top and I have this little keyframe signal or symbol. And I can just click on it and it adds wherever my cursor is. And I'm going to add one more and I'm going to add two more. I'm going to delete this and one last one. So this is not a great place. As you can see, it's, it's not a big spike or anything, but I just want to show you an example. And then what I do, I just draw like drop this down to zero. So this is completely muted now, which is really nice. I think um, it's just an easy way to get rid of some some of the glitches and the audio and that is really everything i do normally for audio for audio editing i don't want to over edit uh, because this is not a studio recording i still want it to sound kind of live almost like a live recording um and then i just go to the next clip i make it visible 
I repeat the same thing to the third one. I repeat the same thing. I just need to make it visible. And then the nice thing is I can always hide one of them or two of them and just start comparing how they sound together. So when I kind of like edit them, I then compare these two. Um, what you can also do is this thing called matching. It's an equalization right up here um, and you can use match. And then what happens is this one, you wanna match it to let's say this and you can say apply match. Now I don't hear a huge difference when I do matching. So you just decide if you wanna do that. Um, so I, let's say I just finished editing both of these. I signed the roles, I fixed some background noise and hum and now I'm just kind of ready to add the effect. So what I can do instead of like get, giving effects to each of them separately, I can just copy the effects from my first track to the other, to the other one. So I can just press command and then I'm going to press command option and V and I now copied all the effects, including this. Okay. So when I click, when I go check it out, it's like, okay, um, I have my channel EQ is the choir, I have the medium room. Aha. Uh -huh, this is the amount that I set up. It's exactly the same amount here. Okay. So you can see that very quickly. Now, if you want to apply just some effects, but not all, because I don't want to apply this mute to all of the choir because then they're going to be all quiet. So what I can do is just again, press command copy. And instead I can just press command and now shift and V and this will give me an option to copy and paste what I wanted. So that that's another nice thing about this copy and paste. Now, if you don't want to copy and paste, of course, you can always just do it one by one. And that is perfectly okay. Um, and that is basically it. So this is how I added audio in Final Cut Pro for all my singers. What I normally do is, so you will notice here, this is all my alto too. So normally I would do one section first and then the next section and the third section. I do not have a large, super powerful computer. So I actually, even for the video later, I just add um, sopranos first and altos, etc. Um, also, some of my choirs are, you know, 60 or 80 singers. So uh, my computer could just not do enough rendering. It's just not powerful enough that it could handle that. Um, talking about rendering, this is just one more thing that I want to show you. Rendering is a uh, just video process, uh, processing of all your videos. So you will see that here on the top, there's a circle filling in. That means that my computer is right now processing everything that I've done. And this is sometimes uh, set up as um, doing it at the end. But if you want to change that, you can go to your preferences and then go to playback. And you'll see that I have it set up to start rendering after 0.2 seconds. So at the end, when I'm done, it doesn't take forever to export um, this finished project. That's it for today, guys. Next video will be about how to create a grid with all your singers being nicely displayed on the screen in the small little squares. And I will also finish up some final editing, adding the titles, entrances, and so on. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe so you can get those notifications when I create my new video and post it for you guys to watch.